Hi, my name is Ashley Murphy. I'm Valerie Bernardo. And our project this year is a continuation of our STEM bus challenge from last school year. So the STEM bus challenge, there is a constant need for STEM in every single field. Science, technology, engineering, and math can work in communications and technology and architecture and all sorts of different things, accounting. STEM is everywhere and will always be present. Present. <laughs> in Anne Arundel County, there are 79 elementary schools total. 11 of those elementary schools have a STEM program. Only two of, and then two of them have STEM integration. That's 13 out of 79 schools, elementary schools in the county that have STEM programs. The reason we want STEM is because STEM drives that curiosity, it drives that passion. It's all about innovating and inventing and creating the next big thing and helping others to make that become a reality. Curiosity fuels exploration, which goes to discovery and learning and adding knowledge, which leads just to more ex exploration. So that's what we want to provide to the next generation, is that drive. Our project was to create a mobile bus classroom which would visit elementary schools throughout the year. Um, so schools which aren't exposed to STEM from a young age. So the bus would be focused around STEM. Um, we started out by looking at other buses that were transformed or used for purposes other than just transportation, like party buses or a bus which came to our school our sophomore year which was the Maryland Bio Bus. It was actually transformed into a mobile science lab, which had everything needed in the science lab, but it was actually a bus. So we looked at how they used storage room and how they made different sections of the bus into a classroom, not just a normal bus. And that isn't limited to just technology buses and party buses. Like there's uh, food on trucks that is a converted mobile vehicle that has been converted to make food. There's ones <coughs> for libraries and uh, like doctor's offices, different things like that that can serve the areas. Um, this is our bus uh, from last year. We actually have a new bus now which is slightly longer in length and it comes pre-equipped with a security camera system and a lift. Before it would have cost us thousands of dollars to get the lift reinstalled into the bus and then even more money to get cameras installed. But we found a new bus that already had that stuff and they gave us a great price for it. I don't know what that price is, but it was probably a lot. Um, that's the inside of the bus. We, uh, we took all sorts of different dimensions. Mm -hmm. we, measure, we stayed at that bus for hours and we took measurements and took pictures to record our process. Um, the different research we did for the interior de design of the bus last year is we researched things like lighting, flooring, um, desks, materials, um, paints, all sorts of different things that we would use to design the inside of the bus, which brings us to our blueprint. So Ashley and I would visit the bus and take measurements, like she said. We took every single little corner and column that was in the bus so we could implement it into a Google SketchUp, which uh, we created over time where we would visit the bus and add more measurements. And now we're going to work with an experienced architect, Mr. Notari, which will help us create a professional blueprint so we can use it with the new bus design and also add more. Um, While Valerie is working with Mr. Notari on the uh, blueprint of the bus to make it professional so that way uh, we can then bring contractors in to actually implement the design of the bus. Um, I, my dad works for the International Brotherhood of Electrical Workers, which stands for IBEW. And he put me in contact with a man named Tom Myers, who is a master electrician and who's the president of the local. And so he's gonna help, he's gonna be our electrical engineer and help us out with that aspect of the bus. We also have to go back to the new bus, which is housed at um, Fort, 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 Fort Fort something. Wood. It's, it's Smallwood. Smallwood, <laughs> Fort Smallwood. And we have to visit the new bus in order to take new dimensions, since, like I said, this bus is slightly larger. Um, and then I'm also in contact with Eric Day, who is a STEM teacher in our county, and he's also a triple E teacher, which stands for exploration and, I don't know, it's triple E. It's the triple E <laughs> program, sorry. Um, <laughs> I'm working with him to get a survey circulated to different teachers throughout the county so we can start writing our curriculum for the bus. And basically the survey asks 
what type of um, STEM topics they talk about, what the kids would like to talk about, what they would like to see more of, stuff like that. I've gotten a couple of responses back, so we're gonna finish gathering those, sort the data, and start researching how to write a curriculum and for how to write it for different age ranges. Our budget, this is our budget as far as, okay, so the materials for the inside of the bus, everything we researched, this is the budget that it came to. That doesn't include everything STEM has already bought or things like transportation costs, budget for salaries, stuff like that. And STEM never concludes. STEM is never over. STEM will always be here. And yeah. yeah. <laughs> Anybody have questions? Well, I love the way you guys take the project. So it's great to see how it's adapted from uh, last year's rendition. Um, I know last year the budget was like a little more. What what changed? The budget. Um, it hasn't. It hasn't changed. <laughs> no, the budget, um, we're trying to get sponsors and donors. To, we, like, the deal would be that we would put their names on the side of the bus and they would give us funds gotcha. to help fund the inside of the bus. So right now, that was just a rough cost. That's not, per se, if we can get things donated, that cost might fluctuate too. Okay. So it really depends on what we can get donated. Oh. 